What up? Today we're gonna make our Flappy Bird game playable. Let's go! Does anyone know how to make good intros? Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is give this little bird a name, cause I'm tired of calling him a bird. Okay Google, cool bird names. So after hours of googling, I decided to call him Mr. Yellow. Why? Because he's red. The next thing I did was I added gravity. Newton approved. Then I realized that this game's called Flappy Bird, not Falling Bird. So I made him flap whenever I pressed the up button. That doesn't look like a flap. Okay, I think I fixed it. There we go. Okay, now Mr. Yellow can flap and fall. And maybe go outside of the window. We don't want that. So after playing the original Flappy Bird, I noticed that I forgot to add ground. Let's fix that. At first I was gonna make an animation, but then I realized that I can make the illusion of movement by doing this. And now we have ground, so Mr. Yellow can die happily. Yay. Now we can pretty much finish this video, but we won't. Cause after playing for a while I noticed it started lagging, so I put an FPS counter on the title to see what's happening. Turns out this game was running at 30 FPS. Are you telling me that my PC, which can run solitaire 4K 60 FPS, can't process a simple dumb bird 60 times per second? So I started analyzing my code hoping that it's poorly optimized. Turns out it was doing a lot of useless stuff. And now, whenever I run this game, I see this. <laughs> Alright. Now we have a game which you can play when you have absolutely nothing else to do. Yay. So that is the end of this video. In the next part, we're gonna add tubes and collision detection. Something tells me it's gonna be hard. But for now, subscribe or else you won't be subscribed. Like, cause why not? Penguin.